How are you doing YouTube? Time for another beer review. Just got done reviewing the Hacker Shore uh, Oktoberfest Marzen, turns out. That's actually the correct pronunciation, so maybe my German isn't quite as terrible as I thought. Anyway, I'm on a roll. Why not go ahead and review another Oktoberfest beer, another Marzen. We're going ahead and reviewing Spaten Marzen. This is one of the brands allowed at Oktoberfest. I have yet to try their Fest beer, but I have had their Marzen before. Is it good? Yeah, but we'll get into why it's good in a second. Um, you know, got your little checker design here. Very nice. Also, I decided instead of using the Polliner big old freaking dimpled mug, we can use the smaller Samuel Adams mug because it looked kind of weird having that huge mug with just that much beer in the bottom trying to review it. I mean, just didn't care for the way that looked. So we're going ahead and use something a little more, you know, proportionally similarly sized here anyway also one thing about spaten no 11 and a half ounces a full 12 ounces 5.9 percent alcohol by volume and it says here on the bottom malt liquor are you saying that an oktoberfest is some legit good old malt licky no it's not go ahead and pour it up uh the reason for that distinction or that little labeling there is i'm assuming the same reason that some beers no matter if they're a lager or an ale will have very dark there, very dark copper with an off-white head, about finger and a half. Eh, I lied, finger head. Let that rest for a second while I explain this. The reason for the uh, labeling of malt liquor is similar to why some beers say, um, especially if you get like an ice beer, it will say an ale. It's because some states, like I believe Texas is one of them. Uh, there's some other states out there you cannot legally, or there is like there is a limit on the ABV for something to be labeled as a lager or a beer. I'm guessing over five percent. So it's a way to get around that. They'll be like, "Oh, this isn't a lager, or this isn't a beer. It's an it's an ale," which makes no sense because an ale is a kind of beer, but it works as it's it's just a little loophole when it comes to the old, you know, draconian liquor laws or alcohol laws that some states still have. So yeah, that's a way around that. So is this malt liquor? Nope. No, it's not. It's imported by Brands Alliance, St. Louis, Missouri. Does Anheuser-Busch have something to do with this? I'm guessing though. It says St. Louis, Missouri, so I'm guessing this is imported by Anheuser-Busch, although this is of course made by the Spaten Brewing Company in one of the most amazing places on earth. Munich, Germany, have I been? No, but five of the best breweries on the planet is located there. So we're gonna go ahead and say that um, it's an amazing place to live. Anyway, this is uh, Spaten has been a brewing company or a brewery since 1397. So I'm assuming they know what the hell they're doing. Anyway, we went over the look. Let's take a whiff of this son of a gun. Oh, it smells like a Mars and um, wow. Makes sense, right? I'm honestly getting uh, almost like a hint of like sorghum syrup or uh, almost molasses. Um, a very, very dark bread um, smell with like that syrupy kind of molasses or sorghum syrup kind of deal. Uh, also, on this, when it comes to uh, the color, very dark, very dark for a Oktoberfest. This is definitely on the darker side. I've seen some Oktoberfests that are like, you know, a very, like a mix between a gold and a copper. And this is uh, definitely, definitely one more time on the dark side, which makes sense why I'm getting those darker smells than say that Hacker Shore I had, which was a little bit lighter than this and it went a little bit lighter in the palate. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a swallow. The um, flavor follows the scent. It is um, a little heavier. I mentioned the Hacker Shore is very good, but very chug. Well, this is a tad more heavier, although still relatively refreshing, but a little more of a sipper by comparison. Um, definitely darker you have that molasses it, it it follows the nose like i said it's kind of a syrupy molasses taste with a hint of like you, you get the and you get brown bread you get like a definitely a very hearty whole wheat bread on this um 
some people might go syrupy. It's not like a sticky sweet. It's not a syrupy sweet. It's not like some people complain Sam Adams is just way too sweet. This is not, I wouldn't say sweet. What I mean, but I mean, I know I'm comparing it to a kind of a syrup in a way, but it's not like sweet. You know, there's a sweetness. But I don't mean to make it sound as sweet as I'm making it. It's it, There is a sweetness, but it's not like punch in the face, stick to your mouth, you know, coin sweetness. Um, but it is it is somewhat rich. It's very it's a very hearty beer. That would be the I was thinking about saying it's very rich, but the best description of this one is is it's very hearty. It's this one will fill you up. Um, although I mean you can still chug it if you really want to, but it's a little more of a sipper compared to the Hacker Shore. And I mentioned in the last video, like from all the Oktoberfest or from the Marsons I've had, which one's the best? That is a tough, um, a, 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 ooh, that's tough. The Hacker Shore might be a tad, I don't know. The Hacker Shore is lighter than this. Um, it's more drinkable than this. But the Spate and Oktoberfest, the flavor it has is very nice. Um, and I, I remember after I'll have to retry uh, uh, the Pollering Rock Coverfest, but that was very good as well. But I don't know. Like I said, so far we might still have a three-way tie on what is the best ger true German Marzen around, or even just the best Marzen in general. Like I said, Sam Adams, I enjoy it. It's not in that three-way tie. It's a little lower down. Um, it's fourth. But it's a little bit of a distant fourth. Um, the top three are, like I said, Spaten, Polliner, and Hacker Shore. Those three, although they are different beers in their own right, they have different qualities. Although they all conform to the, um, they all conform to the style, but in their own way. But talk about knocking it out of the damn ballpark! A fantastic beer. They're all fantastic. And if you're a fan of German beer like I am, they're all definitely worth your time. You, you know, if you can get a six pack or get a single, go ahead, try them. If you're like me, like I said, you will not be disappointed. So, sitting here thinking about the rating. That Hacker Shore, I gave it a nine. I got a little bit of candle wax here. We had some candles going last night had a little bit on the table got on the glass here anyway what is the rating hmm. is it a 9 out of 10 that's what I gave the Hacker Shore and I'm sitting here hmm if it's not a 9 out of 10 it's definitely close this is a damn good beer uh, also I've just noticed I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy some just terrible beer because most of the beer I try, um, I really do end up enjoying a lot. Maybe I'm just an alcoholic. I don't know. And I'm like, oh, wow, I just got alcohol. I like it. I don't know. I'm just, I like a lot of beer and I tend to only buy what I like, but I need to start just changing it up and getting some just complete terrible shit and reviewing it. Just so y'all can see the see me you know sit here and gag and just you know oh this is terrible and just the enjoyment of watching someone make a mistake <sighs> i might need to re-review natty daddy that would be a good example of a bad mistake but ooh, is this a nine out of ten back to the question yeah nine out of ten going to tie it up with hacker shore this is definitely um, on par, although, like I said, more hearty, a little more heavy. Uh, I can't get this god dang, there we go, finally got the can of wax off the, off the bottom of the glass. Damn good Oktoberfest, damn good Marzen. Um, like I said, 9 out of 10. These Munich breweries, they know what they're doing, I tell you what. But yeah, make sure to like, rate, subscribe if you care to. And make sure to enjoy this time of the year. I love when, you know, 
It's still hot in Georgia right now, but give it about a month and a half, it'll, it'll, it will start to cool down gradually. We'll really get into sweater weather. And you know, you get these darker beers and just Oktoberfest in general makes you want to drink German beer and German beer is that, you know, I like cheap beer, but American beers right here, you know, you got some good ones. You got your, you know, your PBR, your Miller High Life, stuff like that, your Old Milwaukee's, your Schlitz, but then you got German beer and it's just miles apart. Anyway, like, rate, subscribe, care if you don't understand, don't bother me much. Make sure to brutally kill your local pedophile and have a good night and an exceptionally pleasant tomorrow.